Hello everyone, my name is Ashwin Timal and today I am going to show you how to make the YOLO V5 model with the real-time camera. So many of the users were asking like how to do the real-time prediction or let's say I open my web camera or IP camera and how do I detect the real-time objects that in our surroundings. So many of the users were asking that and I was also trying to implement that from a long way ago. So today I am going to show you how to do that. So basically we will upgrade the previous repository only which was the YOLO V5 model like I will share the link in the below description also which was my previous video for video and images tracking with YOLO V5 model with the front end at the flask but today I will also implement a new feature which will be having a real time camera detection. So let's get started. So yeah let's start it from there only. So this is let's say open my document. So this is our mainly objective on the aim to detect object in the real time with web camera through Yulu V5 with Flask at the front end. So let's talk about the requirement first. We will be having a Python language for coding our code. Then we will be having a Flask. Flask is a like web server or you can see a Flask is a Python package or you can say library which, which makes you accessible for a server. And then Yolo V5 is our model which predicts our things. And the last is a like you can say one of the most important requirement which is your debugging skills like I am using Linux and many of you were of Windows user so you are saying that you are not able to implement the video you are not able to do the things so you should be having some debugging skills on your own so try to do that also because like we have I have Linux there may be some dependency issues or there may be some platform issues so you try to like go through the overflow stack overflow things and the like go over through the Google everything is available on the Google so you can go over the resources. Let's click on the first link. So basically it's a Python language. If you don't have Python installed on your Windows or Linux, you can install it over here. Uh, how to minimize it. Yeah. So yeah, you can download it from the Python over here. And let's say you have downloaded the Python. You can click on the link and then you can download the package according to your Windows installation or Linux installation or maybe Mac installation. And after that, what was the second requirement? Second requirement is of YOLO V5 model. So basically, YOLO V5 is YOLO V5 is hosted by or you can say created by PyTorch library. So PyTorch is a library, I guess, developed by the Facebook only, Facebook team. So they have the YOLO V5, how to use the YOLO V5. But the dif difficulty is that you can you have to do it in a command line also. You don't have a UI interface to do the all the things. So for creating a UI interface, I'm using Flask. You can use other technology. Let's say you are making for a mobile application. You can use the Flutter or Android Android SDK and whatever you suit. So basically backend have the code for detecting the model and then the front end there can be anything that whatever suits you. So here I am using Flask only. You can use something else also. It will work but you have to do like code also. So also like if you go over the GitHub repository. So this is the basically repository. This is from where I got the code. I haven't written all the code from my own. The backend code or the model code is different, referred from here. It's a ultra analytics, ultra analytics organization that hosted a Yolo V5 repository. So it has all the code of how to do the prediction, how to train the model and how to do the things. What I have done, I take the detect.py file and then modify it according to our need so that I can integrate with the front end. So this is one of the requirements. Also, you can see it's a like very big code. You have to understand the things before you can run the things. So what I have do, I have also simplified the code and make it on the, uh, you can say uh, in a one place also. So you don't have to go to the different things. Like where is the document? <clears throat> so if you click on the third link, I will share the document also this one. So this is one of the repository that I have created and it's referred via yeah, of course leap at the YOLO V5 file repository that was I shown before. So I have taken only the important files and then for that is required for our prediction. And then also added the Flask framework or Flask front-end code over here. So what you have to do, you have to clone the repository and then you have to do the prediction. Pretty simple, right? So let's see. Also, there is one more one bug which I also want to fix that before going to the real-time tracking. So let's try to do all the things in this video. So I hope you are going to, uh, you are excited for that. So, okay, let's start it. So yeah, I'm also hoping that you know the GitHub. So basically GitHub is a virtual control system which hosts your code online or you can manage your track your code and it's also publicly available. So you can go to the link. I will share the link in the description. It's also in the document. So you can go and copy the code. So also make sure you have git installed on your terminal or command prompt. Open your 
command prompt if you are windows user or terminal if you are a mac or linux user check that git dash dash project if you get this you you know that the git is installed on your system if not you can download it from the official repository also if if you don't have a github it's not a problem you can get the download zip file it will get all the code in a zip format and you can unzip it so i'm making i'm assuming that you have git installed copy this link open your terminal and first go to where you want to paste, place your code like i want to place my code inside an extra repo which i have my repository i can do a git clone over here and then let's wait to complete it so you can see i have get the code you can you can go inside the repository by using cd command yeah, i'm inside the like if you do the ls you can see all the code that here i was having it's in my repository now you can check this by opening your what to say file explorer and you get all the code inside your repository or inside your folder so now next work is to open your vs code you can do the code dot or open like normally like how you do it so now you can see you got your code that was online now you have in your local system okay that's fine well and good enough so let's open a new terminal over here so yeah before starting uh, i want to know some of the files that i want to let you know i have i have explained them in my previous video you can go over there but some new files that i want to explain here so here's a requirement txt file so in this file what it does it makes the pip pip is basically a python installer it helps the python installer to let know what are the packages required for the system for this application so you can do the pip uh, before that you can do like something like pip install and uh, what pip install that's requirement that it will install all these packages that are required for this application but before doing that i recommend you to create a virtual environment so what virtual environment does virtual environment environment create a python environment or i stand alone or you can say isolated environment that does not affect your main python environment so it helps in like when you want to test new objects or test new test new things you can do that with the help of that so for that you have virtual env installed you can do virtual env venv and if you don't have virtual env installed you can go over the google and type python virtual v virtual vnv install search for something like that and you will get the command how to download the like where was i yeah you can do the pip install virtual env so okay first make sure you have pip install virtual env first do that it will check if you have pip install or not if you have installed it will show like this and if you don't have install it will install you after that do the virtual env venv so what it does it creates a virtual environment for your for your environment like let me show you so if you do now source vnv bin activate now you can see i have got a virtual environment over here so also check for the windows how to do that because there is something different so check how to do virtual env in windows you will get the link how to do that okay so this is all for now and uh, now you can install the python repositories for now give me a minute you can do pip install minus r requirement for txt it will install all the files you can see that it's downloading all the file if some file is missing then it can download it and if it already present it just take it from the you can say from your local system so this is how the virtual environment takes the files from your local system and all things wait for this to complete so once it's completed you can see i got a message successfully installed markdown and all the packages that were required so yeah everything is now set up so one last thing which i want you to do that pip install flask if it's not done basically it will be i guess there uh, but let's say if not let download it flask so one flask is downloaded what you can do you can create a flask run so you will get the server like if you is you can get a message like running on the this this local host area 
so you can see this is our application this is our front end which contact with our back end so like you have the option for opening the video cam then choosing a file and sending so basically this is the previous one where i can send the images and the videos but this is the new one where i can get a new camera so before doing that i have there is something missing in the new version of the pytorch which i want you to fix that before going to the video cam so let's say you choose a file and then let's say this is my image let's save this image and i send the image so also check your terminal like you can see there is something going on the terminal file storage is check my file whichever i send it and then it's to a normal this thing and then it's going over the yolo packet yolo v5 you will get some error let's wait for that mm -hmm. yeah you can see that the we get error up sample object has no attribute recompute factor just copy this error go to the google and paste it you will get the some link let's open this github one and there he shows you how to fix it like where was that yeah for anyone looking for a solution modify your up sampling file e conda lip side package this is this 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 according to the function above so basically this line is giving you the error you have to comment this line and it's saying you to go over the light side packages dots and then modules so what you can do you have vnv installed that's why i make you install the vnv go to the vnv then lib sorry lib python side packages and then search for the torch over here so torch 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 this is torch and then go for the nn this is nn then go for the then go for the nn inside nn and then in the modules so go inside the modules and then you will find the up sampling file this is up sampling file okay then search for this line up factor copy this line go over here find this line and this is the line that you have to comment so first make the bracket to the below line and then comment this line so this is how you have to do the things comment the above line and bracket to move the back downwards because it other way it will get you compilation error so this is what you have to do once done close this file and close the server clear then do the flask run again uh, open this link again okay let's try now asmit uh, sorry uh, asmit run send now also make sure to check the terminal because many of time you will be getting errors only here only so make sure you are getting some if you are getting errors go google the errors okay before like commenting you can google the error if you can find the answer then it's well good and if not not then you can comment over there i will try to help so you can see once downloaded i get the download button over here let's click on the download so i get one jpg file okay downloaded let's open this download file yeah okay that's good i got a person accuracy so basically they are giving two boxes because it's a previously predicted image let me show you some other image uh, 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 uh. I don't have a good image. Yeah. Check this one. Let's. Okay, I'm sending it again. It's going over the Python YOLO model again. Uh, it's doing, it's doing, it's doing, it's getting the YOLO V5 prediction, fusing layers, then save. Let's click on download now. Once you get like this one, post detect, confirm success, 200 is a success message, then you can download the file. If you get some error, it will not be downloaded. It will be downloaded in some other format that will be not a good. Like you can see now it's getting good. I'm getting a accuracy 0.37 and saying it's a person. So yeah, that's good. And now I will try to show you how to do it with a video cam. So yeah, now let's do for the webcam, the real one that you all are waiting for. So let's click on this video cam button. So you can see it will get over the code over here, here, then detect.py. Let's wait for the video cam to open. You will get a video cam uh, interface. So let's wait. Yeah, you can see this me and you can get a prediction like I'm a person. It's also predicting from the previous scenery also like it's a person for him too. So yeah, it's predicting good. So this is how you can do with the real time tracking with the YOLO V5 model. So I hope you learned something. Also, if you try to close this, it will not close. You have to do a command C over here. Control C to force close it. So this is some error that I'm not able to fix it. You can check that how to do that. 
So yeah, this is all for the working and let me show you how did I achieve this real time tracking. So like previously things that how the images and video work I have shown in the previous video, but this video cam thing is a new. So what I have done, if you go over the detect dot not detect dot by, if you go over the app dot by, I have created a new, new, new endpoint, which is known as open cam. So when I click on this video cam button, it's send a get request to the backend that open cam this one request. And what it does, it run a process known as Python three detect dot by source slash zero. So it does a it it a like detect dot by is a official file that was created by Yolo v five Yolo v five creators. And I just call that detect dot by from my Flask server. So this is how it is doing. So it's calling a Python three detect dot by source zero. So yeah, this is all for now. Also, something I wanted to show you before closing the video some errors that were in the previous video i wanted you to fix that so many of you are saying that these commands are not running like it's going over to the like this this line and the basically image you are not getting so also make sure you have python 3 in your environment like if you do python 3 test test version if you are not getting like this then you have to install python sometimes what happens it installed as a py dash dash version in windows so if you have pi dash dash version, if you get the version while doing the pi dash dash, then instead of writing Python over here, you have to do pi everywhere, right here also. So if you have pi installed, pi dash dash, if you get the version by doing the pi dash dash version, if you get the version by doing Python 3, then it will be written as the Python 3 only. Okay, I hope you understand this. Next was for the Windows user. So basically this command subprocess.run is basically for a Linux user. So if you wanted to run on a what to say in a in a in a in a Windows, then you have to do a shell equal to true everywhere. Like whenever there is a subprocess dot run, you have to do us what to do shell shell equal to true. And and there was also, and here also shell equal to true if you are windows user if you are linux user no need to do that if you are mac user no need to do that but if you are windows user you have to write shell equal to true shell equal to true shell equal to true also if you have python 3 installed as a as a command environment variable then write python 3 over here if you have pi installed as a python environment variable then you have to replace it with pi i hope you understand this one so yeah, this is all for now. I hope you learned something new. So this is all for now. I can take a leave now. So you can also connect me on the LinkedIn. I will share the link. So happy to connect with you all. Thank you.